So I'm literally laying in my bed. Um, like not even awake. But my husband made me breakfast. I don't know how well this. There we go. Breakfast. So I'm about to eat a whole bunch of breakfast. So I'm gonna get writing done last night and get my video up till like 12:05. Um, part of that was because I was waiting for CJ. I could have gotten it done before then. But I didn't want to get too far ahead because I wanted to be able to show CJ how to use the functionality on the thing. On the program. Um, but ultimately it got up at like 12.05. I'm going to call that a success because, I don't know, it could be a difference in clocks. Whatever. So, anyway, I guess it's time for me to shove all this food in my face. What's up, peoples? All right, so I'm awake. I've brushed my hair and my teeth not put makeup on yet my husband pulled my car in really crooked so almost ran into the garage that was nice of him so I am on my way to work now which is the most thrilling thing ever going in early because I neglected to fucking put out files last night but I made like a jug of coffee I bit my tongue this morning when I was eating breakfast so that's pretty upsetting god I bit it hard all the Halloween-y stuff is out now. I see a bunch of people doing a bunch of um, NaNoWriMo prep videos, and that's great, and I'm super happy that people prep for it, and I'm super happy that these people are prepping. So the street I'm driving down now is full of um, little free libraries, and when I was trying to show them to my husband, I couldn't find any of them, and now I see tons of them. Um, but so... <clears throat> There's all these little free libraries, and I've considered because um, Suggestion 376 is pretty short. It's a short story collection. Um, I've considered buying up a couple dozen copies of it, signing them, and just sticking them in local um, local like free library things. Um, I don't know what that would do or if that would matter at all, but I feel like. Um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get people to read my book and stuff, and it doesn't cost me a whole lot. Um, I think if you buy it and you're not me, I think it's like six dollars, maybe seven. So it's not expensive, and I don't mark anything out terribly high. I just want to sit outside, so I'm going to sit outside for a couple more minutes. It's got this fall haze, and everything's just kind of blowing a little. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, I don't think you can see, but this tree over here, let me see if I can pull this out. See, it's the, the trees blowing and all the leaves and the, the brown grass and all that jazz. When your boss gets you really cool technology and you get the echo dot. Do, 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 do. You see him little flashing. Do, 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 boop, boop. Um, and she says that it'll work well for you because you talk to yourself anyway. That I do. <clears throat> it has been 26 minutes that I've been technically at work, and I've already gotten in a fight with my Amazon Echo, but, man, my tongue really hurts. I should not have bitten it. I should have made a different decision. Oh, holy smokes, guys. So, I went inside and dropped my boss her phone charger and ordered some paperwork from the circuit clerk, which is what one does at the courthouse. Um... But it's so hot inside the courthouse. Like, I am wet. And I was in there for about 15 minutes. Okay, so I don't record at work when I'm, like, working. Except that my new little Echo Dot thing is playing me um, hollow notes. So there you go. Well, so I just tried to cut my finger off. 
I um, was cutting my cuticles off with an X-Acto knife, which I know you're not supposed to do, but I do it. We're just not going to talk about my nail biting problems and all that weird obsessive shit. Um, but I tried to cut the tip of my finger off. Uh, it's pretty deep. I couldn't get it to stop bleeding. So let's hope it's not bleeding under there. It feels cold. Cold. Burr. Cold finger. I don't think I'm going to bleed to death, but I might lose this finger, which will make typing hard. Whoops. This guy limp. On so fire we're at game. And smoking we didn't, we didn't hold action. We didn't. Not. You guys didn't yeah. hold, hold your action. That's true. Yeah. So the white dragon head is going to. Uh, oh, Koto fucking. He makes saves for Koto. For what? Dex and Charm. Thirteen for Dex. That doesn't work. Who goes Koto? Yeah, Koto's dead. Goodbye, you dead piece um, of shit. And twenty-six for Constitution. Twenty-six for Con? Almost. Uh, but not quite. <laughs> that was a 19. I rolled a fucking 19. So Koto also drops from this guy. Also Save him? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 it's not I'll allow you to catch them both. That's fine. I just catch your ass. Just you just catch your phone? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Koto keeps from them. He's the bottle of lost spider. We need the lance back. So or you just... need to like push it further into her. Yeah, 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 I got this. Um. Yeah, he's got it. Can I grab the dragon lance and then attack with it? Yeah, you have a multi attack, right? Yeah. Yeah, which gives you three attacks? Uh, it gives me five attacks. Okay. Plus oh. the frightful present thing. Can I use? Can I use one of my attacks as that thing? As that action? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, then I'll use my multi attack, which gives me frightful presence. So, would this even matter? Uh, Not to them. Okay. Um. So I'll skip that and then. I'll use my first attack to pull the dragon lance and stab it. Alright, so that would be um, essentially your melee. Um, melee attack. Sorry. You said that fancy. Melee. A lot of claw attack? There we go. You like used to say melee. Or melee? Or I like that. Um, no, I said 19. Get both of them. Uh, 26, 35. Yeah, Excellent. You grab the dragon lance <laughs> and like wrench it. In Tiamat's gut mm -hmm. and pull it back out. How many hit points do you have? 676. Whoa. Excellent. Um, Tiamat fucking screams out of like all five heads. Uh -huh. And I'm gonna yell, I'm the dreadnought, bitch! Or <laughs> <laughs> stuck in a maze. So you guys really get to sort of decide how you wanna lay this out, and then you'll attract the people that are oh. away from the cover that's appropriate. You got, you got like your bingo all. Bingo! <laughs> it's called Club Gyno Sphinx. <laughs> and after about a year, the lonely Gyno Sphinx wanders into the, wanders into the club. Games of tr chance and trickery. Alright. That's so going you in there. always do that. Good. Yeah, it's going right in there. No, you spend them as your. I'm glad right. you're enjoying it. I enjoy it. But all now they're it. worth more.